Hello, my name is Bob Golding, and I'm a senior escalation engineer at the Software Support Center in Charlotte, North Carolina for Microsoft. Today, I'm making this video to give people a better understanding on the causes of a 9E blue screen, which occurs specifically in cluster configurations. Before we talk about how what you can do before sending a dump to Microsoft, let's talk about what causes a 9E. The RHS processes or services that control the resources in cluster register themselves with a timer. And periodically they must reset an alarm per se so the alarm does not expire. If the RHS process does not reset the alarm, the alarm will the uh, timer will expire, causing a stop 9E. Now this is usually caused when an RH process is accessing a resource and the request to access the resource does not complete, causing the RHS process to hang. The cluster subsystem will try to mitigate the situation by terminating the RHS resource and attempt to restart it and have the resources go in their own RHS process. However, since the request may be stuck in the system because the, re the uh, RHS process is accessing a disk resource and the request may not be completing, the process does not terminate. And this was what usually causes a stop 9E. The timer will expire and the blue screen will occur and this is ensures the resources to fail over to another node to ensure resource access. So when a stop 9E occurs, the cause is not a, uh, usually a software failure, it's most likely a resource failure. And the stop 9E is to ensure that a failover occurs and the resources go to another node so they so they are accessible. So what can cause a 9E? It is normal behavior and it's usually part of it's part of resource recovery to ensure failover in extreme conditions. This is a way the cluster mitigates a hang condition again to ensure resource access and it's most likely not a software problem. The timer is implemented in an NFT driver, driver and it's not a problem with a NetFT driver. So when the blue screen occurs, the stack trace will show that NetFT driver blue screen. But that is because the timer is a NetFT and that's where the timeout is detected. And most of the issues that I have seen have been storage type failures, not software. So what can be done? Review the event logs. Again, most of all the 90s I've received have been storage issues. So you look in the event log and look for storage failures. Install KB2819485 to ensure that all storage errors are logged in the event log. There are storage errors called that are, we logged the event log called 153s and there are 129s. Those are conditions caused by the, res the uh, storage resources timing out. And that can cause problems with requests getting stuck in the systems causing a stop 9E. More documentation on the, on the what to look for in the event log can be found at these following links. And more information on 90s can be found on this blog. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope this will give you more information on what you can do before sending the dump to Microsoft.